Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Enlightened Starseed and welcome back if you are returning. Today's pick a card is messages from your animal spirit guide with guidance. Now I was inspired to do this pick a card by my spirit guide, my grandfather who came in strong last year, October. It took me two months to figure out that it was him. And he's been guiding me, he's been giving me healing and very present in my life. And I just wanna say that I greatly appreciate him in my life and he's helped me get rid of so much just old baggage that I was carrying around that was weighing me down that was just heavy that I had going on in my life so I am grateful for my grandfather my past loved one who is currently my spirit guide my spirit guide seems to change every year so I hope he's with me for a long time because he's been a blessing in my life now, today's pick a card, like I said, is messages from your animal spirit guides with, with guidance. Uh, you can have more than one animal spirit guide. Um, I remember I had several that came to me in my dreams, uh, an octopus, uh, that one was oof, I, in my dream. I was like, get it away, get it away from me. Oh my God, all of these antennas and arms and ugh. I was like <laughs> screaming and oh my God, I was trying to flush it down the toilet because it was, it was like a baby, you know? And I just kept seeing this, this head and antennas trying to wrap around me and cling on to me. And I was like, oh my God, get it off of me, screaming and jumping up and down. <laughs> And what it meant was I had several opportunities that were presenting themselves to me. I just wasn't taking them. I wasn't moving and taking action towards all these different opportunities. But and the, it was just so funny how I was just jumping up and down and screaming like in fear. And that was the case. I was fearful of taking action and moving towards these opportunities that was present in my life. I also had a dove, a white dove show up in my bedroom. I had I had a, a wolf show up in my dream several times that kept uh, uh, wanting me to follow it and and um, it was guiding me to a certain place and you know it's just to be aware of your animal spirit guides and what they are trying to tell you what guidance that they're trying to bring to you what is the meaning of that certain animal spirit guide so we're going to look into that for you today I have three piles for you to choose from and I'm also going to incorporate some crystals and I will let you know the meaning of the crystals and what they are used for. So I'm excited to get started. I've been MIA for a while, had to take a step back and regroup guys and I am so excited. Let's get started with pile number one. Hello everyone. I wanted to do a second intro so you can get a good look at the cards, the piles, and their crystals. For pile number one, I have the Septarian Crystal. It's a beautiful crystal. That's for pile number one. Pile number two is the citrine natural crystal tower it's a small tower and for pile number three i have the red heart jasper so choose the pile and the crystal that resonates with you the most you can meditate on the pile that resonates 
or you can just take a deep breath in maybe three times and see which pile and crystal resonates with you have you chosen yet great let's get it let's start with pile number one hello pile number one this reading is for everyone who chose pile number one and the septarian crystal now this crystal connects you with your guides so how convenient it provides protection invokes your fierceness and produces strength for whatever intentions you may have so work with this stone to dissolve any fears any doubts and sadness anything that keeps you from walking your highest path with courage and confidence let's place this at the side and let's see who's your animal spirit guide the wild horse number 29 freedom sensitivity spirit and partnership 29 breaks down to the master number 11 let's put this right here okay now the master number 11 stands for spiritual messenger this spiritual messenger is bringing you light upliftment and will help you become inspired to birth new ideas or for some of you a birth of a child the master number 11 also represents an ideal time to start a new business and new opportunities you are also being assisted to guide others by standing in and sharing your truth this master number 11 is also saying to follow your intuition and you are also a highly spiritual person so this is your animal spirit guide that is bringing you a message the wild horse wants you to feel more freedom you're feeling kind of this heaviness right now and you want to be free from this heaviness you are seeking this freedom from something that you're going through in your life that's making you very sensitive. You're very sensitive right now. So spirit is coming in to help you and assist you and free you from any burdens you may be feeling right now. Now, with the wild horse, there's also a sun in the background. So that's representing a new beginning happiness joy fulfillment coming into your life so know that you will receive a freedom and upliftment from whatever you're going through in your life right now that's weighing you down now in this card there's a lot of yellow and orange and the yellow represents wisdom mental force curiosity insight again intuition and sensitivity yellow is also associated with your solar plexus chakra and we also have some orange here which is also representing creativity and joy joyous emotions and spreading happiness and joy it's also associated with your sacral chakra this wild horse is offering a gift to you pile number one a gift some of you may be clairsentient but you are very highly sensitive sensitive to energy and the emotions of others around you and say this affirmation at one with energy of my spirit i am awake in tune inspired and free so some of you may have been dreaming about this horse some of you may have just recently been horseback riding but this horse is showing up to support you with some messages so let's get started 
first card up. Memories of Love, number six. Here we go, another horse, number seven, triumphant. And how synchronistic is that? That another horse is in your reading. Six, seven, you're leveling up, you're moving up, you're moving forward. Next card, number nine, suffering in silence. So number six here is the number of unconditional love, communication, support, cooperation, and self-love and harmony. Or you could be just reviewing your whole past from childhood up until now. And you're coming into this peace. You want to be free from your past, free from the baggage. There's a partnership coming in here for some of you, a love partnership for some of you, and a business partnership for others. With the business partnership, know that it will be successful. Some of you are very skilled with your hands, could be artists, musician, anything that involves the hands here. Could also be a healer. But you have found some harmony and acceptance in your life here, pile number one. With number seven, triumphant, you've been through some challenges and it took a lot of effort for you to accept these challenges and go through them. But you mastered, you mastered these challenges here, pile number one. Again, partnership and contracts are coming up. For some of you, again, new connections. And you're going to learn new things, uh, knowledge, a lot of knowledge when it comes to your past. You're going to use your past to work for you here, pile number one. And now with number nine, suffering in silence, that's exactly what has been going on. You have been suffering in silence. And number nine means you're wrapping up this whole cycle here. You're wrapping up the cycle. That's why you're reviewing the past. You're looking forward now and you're moving forward with anticipation. And you're going to receive a lot of fulfillment here. So you're basically reflecting and ready to move forward, pile number one. Some of you may have been hermit for a while, turning within. What have you learned? Is there a message or a lesson from these memories that could benefit you in your present life? Know that there is a need for balance in your emotional body. Your heart and soul is asking you not to dwell on the past, but to use the inspiration and joy from that time to assist you in the here and now. I'm getting a, a high pitch tone in my right ear so that is a strong message for someone okay number seven triumphant the power of your soul is pushing and nudging you steadily forward you're moving forward here whether you're setting new goals developing ideas or planning a journey it's essential that it's carefully thought out and when you tap into your inner guidance and balance it with self-control, hard work, and perseverance, it's likely to manifest. And this is what your spirit animal guide wants you to know. It's time for you to start manifesting your dreams and goals here, pile number one. Visualize the successful results as if it was happening right now. And when you have achieved what you set out to do, your ability to meet other life challenges will be increased. So when you try to move forward without balance, direction, or guidance, it's easy to slip off your intended path and be drawn away from your desired goal. Now is not the time to let go or allow this to pull you in a different direction as you can easily lose control here and get discouraged or if you keep looking back to your past, past mistakes, past wrongs. 
So just make sure that you keep moving forward towards your highest destination. Know that you are not alone. Your animal spirit guide is with you with all of your life's ups and downs and the challenges that you face. So know, Paul, number one, that this is a time to tap into the knowledge of others, the assistance of others, as well as the use of inner resources that are within you. Now, number nine, suffering in silence. Like I said, you're at a completion of this, this suffering. You are finally ready to let go of these limited negative beliefs or are you allowing the issues in your life to become bigger than they really are? Your mind has been doing quite a job on you here, pile number one. When you learn to let go of the worry, fear, and the sense of hopelessness, know that a positive new way or path will be shown to you. And your animal spirit guide is leading the way. For him to come up twice in your reading, that is so synchronistic here, pile number one. Some of you feel trapped in fear. And when your fears aren't confronted, you go through this mental anguish and you end up in a cycle that seems endless. You have to make a choice here, pile number one. Your animal spirit guide wants you to know that you must take the first step towards healing and let go of the mental distress that you have been in. No more suffering in silence. Reach out for the help that is available to you. Next card up. goes this way. Number 20, cosmos mirrors you. You may feel like you're judging yourself too hard here, pile number one. You have a lot of scattered thoughts as well. And watch the words that you're telling yourself and the feelings that you have sent out into the universe, either consciously or unconsciously here, pile number one. No one sets out to ask for problems or difficulty. And yet we need to pay closer attention to what we think and what we speak out into the universe. Now you are reminded by your animal spirit guide today of how powerful your words are. So watch the words that you're saying. Number 22, another master number. Archangel Sandalphon is with you now. He's also coming in with your spirit guide to bring you assistance at this time. So you have Archangel Sandalfin and your spirit guide assisting you at this time. And call upon Archangel Sandalfin. Next card. Number 47. 47 breaks down to 11. Master number again, abundant universe, blessings and thanks. You have a lot of abundance coming towards you, but you have to set your mind free from the past here, from this suffering and silence. You have to let it go. Get rid of the past baggage that's holding you back because you want to move forward here. You want to move forward. You're asking to move forward. Next card. You have the owl. Pepeu. The Hawaiian owl. Your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now. So pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So you have a second animal spirit guide coming in. The owl, the Hawaiian owl. Next card. Elephant spirit. Learn from your past. Learn from your past. And that's what you're doing here with these memories. With these memories of love. You're learning from the past and you're learning to move on with love. 
So learn from your past and move forward. That's what you're going to do. Learn from your past and move forward. So now let's get some tea leaves here for you. Oh, already scissors disappointment in some affair so there's some affair that you may have been disappointed in the past cut it out okay older woman dealings or relationships with an older woman in your life, you could have an older woman that has stepped in to help you or someone that can help you with guidance. This could be a grandmother for some of you. This can be a mother. This can be a, a psychic, a medium for some of you. This older woman is bringing you guidance. Okay. mountains major challenge to overcome and you may feel like what you're going through is a challenge right now but you will overcome it Get that. <clears throat> Teardrops. Great personal sorrow. Again, with the sorrow. Okay? You're going to get over this. You're going to get through this. And this older woman is coming in to help you with this. Because you've been suffering in silence long enough here. You will have blessings coming in of abundance here so this is what's coming out for you here this is what's coming in for you okay so let's pull some more a pile number one let's get a fortune card for pile number one Lily, spiritual love, love of self, spirit, your animal spirit guide is coming in with some spiritual love. You have Archangel Sandalfin coming in with spiritual love. The best thing you can do right now is self-love. Flowers, happiness is coming in for you. Know that happiness is coming in for you, pile number one. Oh, is it in there? Okay. And I also got this one. Younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. You can also... Um, be dealing with a younger woman like a sister in your life that you can turn to for support as well. Okay? Yes. So this is uh, where the support is coming in from. This is unbelievable with the noise. Let's get another message here. They're like, where the hell does she live? I would lose my mind, I tell you. All right. Let's get another fortune card. Let's get another fortune card for pile number one. Oh, I love it when they pop out. Ram, another animal spirit guide, is coming in. A stubborn, aggressive person. This could be you, pile number one. 
this could be you 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 could be this stubborn aggressive person because you probably just don't want to face facts you want to be stuck in a cycle all the time and it's 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 you're suffering in silence here you're suffering in silence here you may maybe you just don't want to accept the past for what it is but this suffering in silence has to go has to go no more suffering in silence and that's what i have for pile number one i'm wishing you lots of love and light take care hello pile number two and welcome to your reading this reading is for everyone who has chosen the citrine natural crystal tower of creativity happiness abundance it helps to manifest your dreams and first you need to know what they are before you manifest your dreams by activating both your imagination and your will citrine helps you clearly envision what you want and then gives you the perseverance so let's place this right here to see it through it's also a relaxing crystal it helps promote laughter relaxation and just uh, around good feelings the energy of citrine can also help with feeling more balanced and eliminate negativity Let's see what is your animal spirit. The blue whale. Unity, resonance, magnificence, mastery. Um, number two. You have choices to make, pile number two. You're stepping into your personal power. There's a partnership that you are in currently with a partner romantic partner for some of you there's a lot of balance coming in and justice but you have choices to make you feel magnificent because you mastered something in your life now for some of you there's some water here you've been in your emotions about this deeply emotional now with the water it uh, that's communication speech expression imagination and freedom your free spirit soul here pile number two and it's something that you have to say blue is also associated with your throat chakra and this yellow is all about your wisdom and mental force and curiosity your insight and intuition and your sensitive soul it's also associated with your solar plexus so let's see what messages does your animal spirit guide has for you? Let's see, first card. Number six, victory and success, flat out. Victory and success. Next card. Number four, foundation and achievement, more success and the rainbow. And that's their message to you, is that you're going to have a lot of a firm foundation and achievements. Next card, temptation, number 15. Okay. Now with number six, know that you're going to have victory and success. This is what you want in your life. A lot of success in some area, some form, some idea that you have in your life. You can foresee, but you need to take a leap of faith first. You got to jump off and take this leap of faith. You are being guided by spirit. With number four, the foundation you're going to have a firm foundation. You're going to have achievements. And this is what your spirit animal is trying to tell you. That once you take this leap of faith, 
things will be settled and firm. You will have the achievements that you want. But here with this temptation card, you're being tempted to look away. You're looking away. You don't want to walk with spirits. You don't want to hold this key that he's trying to give you. If you can see the key here, he's trying to offer you a key. But you're turning away from it. You're stretching out trying to grab this key. But you keep turning away like you don't want the key. Like you don't want it. And you, you feel like you're being held down and held back by something in your life. And you need to ground your energy. This red is talking about your root chakra. You need to be more grounded here. You're very unstable. And you're looking for that stability in your life. Wow, where's all that coming from? Now, you also can have a temper. But you have a passion and vitality for the success. You, you know you have to put in the hard work. Because one day you're going to be a leader and lead others down the right path. And you've been asking for strength. You feel like you're in survival mode here, pile number two. So let's see, what is your guidance? You have the, again, you have the blue whale and now you have the dolphin. Another animal spirit guide, emotional well-being. You will have emotional well-being. I was just saying, this water, means a lot of emotions you're in your emotions and here you have water again number seven being you will receive emotional well-being here next card up go with the flow we have more water here the waters will get calmer four and two that's six go with the flow and paddle on and move forward into your victory and success here because that's what you want you want to go with the flow you want things to be calm but you keep feeling like you're tempted by something else here in your life next card uh, <laughs> number one yellow joy and happiness you will find your joy you will find your happiness you will find it this is this is all offered to you this yellow this joy and happiness means you there's a new beginning for you just like the yellow here there's more yellow here and with the 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 butterflies this is transformation you're going to transform out of your old ways you're going to move away from this temptation into your joy and happiness but there's there has to be some discipline here pile number two you need some disciplining here okay so let's see next message tiger another animal spirit guide is coming in to let you know that you're being called upon to provide leadership so trust that you're capable of doing so you're capable of this pile number two so you're being called upon because you're going to be a leader once you get past this and you will be successful and you're going to generate a lot of abundance from you're on a spiritual path, a spiritual journey. And you're being called to take that leap of faith and step into your calling. You're being called here. Next card up. Horse spirit. Freedom is yours. Number 33. Master number. So freedom is yours. Only you can free yourself from this temptation here. Only you can free yourself. With the master number 33, you are of pure light. 
You have the ability to be the great leader you were born to be. You always ensure to raise the vibration of people around you that you talk with and interact with. You find balance in the peace and quiet of nature also. This is your solar plexus. You feel a lot in your solar plexus here, pile number two. You're a very emotional being and you're being called to step into your life purpose. And this 33 here with this horse spirit guide is letting you know that freedom is yours to take. You are a leader. You are a leader. So let's get some tea leaf messages from your animal spirit guide, the blue whale. Oh, wow. Okay. Older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. You may have some kind of dealing with an older man that you probably need to cut ties to because I'm not feeling good energy from this person. And I'm going to put that right here by the temptation. Let's see, what else do we have for pile number two? Spirit guide, animal spirit guide. What else do we have for pile number two? Excuse the noise earlier. I live in New York City. Let's get a card for pile number two, spirit guide. Animal spirit guide. Let's get a card for pile number two. Ah, let's get a card for pile number two number two here we go cobwebs protected from negative forces beyond your control you are protected here palm number two you are protected your animal spirit guide is protecting you and you have a second animal spirit guide the dolphin you have the tiger coming in protecting you you have the horse spirit guide protecting you and don't forget this bee here. This bee has, has a lot of joy and fulfillment coming in for you and happiness because this is what your spirit animal spirit guide wants you to know. You're going to have a firm foundation. You're going to have great achievements. So you are protected and I'm going to put that right here. You are protected. You are protected. Okay. Let's get another fortune. Oh, wow. They're just, oh, that's two cards for pile number two. And they're just jumping out for you, pile number two. Okay turkey another animal spirit guide coming forward to let you know someone is behaving stupidly and that's this probably this much older man over here okay so be aware for they're bringing this this older man to your attention again you have another animal spirit guide stepping forward the elephant a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser in the end so you've been going going through a lot with this temptation here it's been a long journey a long battle but you will get through it here pile number two you will get through this Yeah. heart love deep affection and caring okay when you love you love deep here pile number two we have two bear another animal spur guide coming in to let you know danger especially in money matters pertaining to this older uh, man here causing temptation. It could be addiction for some of you. May. Know that by May this year, things will change. Life is going to be different. 
you're gonna either step into this victory and take this leap of faith or you're going to finally have some stability and make some headway in achievements you may be getting over an addiction and some sort of temptation with an older man here so by may look out for this let's get one more for pile number two one more message for pile number two one more message for pile number two. One more message for pile number two. One more message for pile number two. Stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Well, some of you may be expecting a child soon, or some of you may be finally taking that leap of faith into a business opportunity or life purpose. Okay, so know that good things are on the horizon for you, pile number two. I'm going to put that right here. Let's put it here. And that's what I have for pile number two. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. This reading is for everyone that has chosen pile number three and the red jasper. The red jasper gives you the courage to speak out and have personal independence. It brings vitality and a surge of life force energy. It inspires a positive attitude and gives you the motivation to chase your dreams. The red jasper also brings a gentle warmth, a calming, peaceful energy. So pick up the red jasper. Let's put this off here at the side. And let's see, what is your animal spirit guide? Oh, you have two. The tree frog, number 41, which breaks down to a five, change. Soulful song, meditation, creation, rebirth. You're going through a transformation and a rebirth right now here, Paul. Uh, three. Let's see, what's your next? Oh, you got the Timber Wolf, number 39, which breaks down to a 12, which breaks down to a 3. Again, with creativity, instinct, guidance, belonging, order. Okay, so you have these two. Let's move this over. Let's move this over. You have these two spirit guides coming in. And let's see, what do they have to um, say? Number 18, shadow. You're facing your shadow self. This is that transformation that you are going through. Next card. Number nine solitude you're in hermit mode you're soul searching you're being alone searching your inner guidance you're taking a break from everyday life and you're withdrawing your energy and attention inward to find the answers that you seek deep within your soul you realize that your most sense of truth and knowledge is within yourself and not in the distractions of the outside world. You're searching for a self-discovery led by your inner wisdom and guiding light. So now is a perfect time to go on a weekend sacred retreat. Anything which you can contemplate your next move your personal values and principles and get closer to your authentic self. And next, number 20, truth. Pile number three, you are going through a spiritual awakening. There's going to be clarity coming in for you. You're going to feel a revelation of truth. You know, at times it takes a wake up call to get your attention and show how far you need to go. 
you have evolved from your past, along with the lessons that you have learned or still need to understand. And this needs to be a top priority. Doing so will enable you to forgive and accept and heal from the past so you can move forward in a balanced and more spiritual mindset. Know pile number three that a significant change must be made in a certain area of your life. But don't make any hasty decisions. Take your time. Your animal spirit guides are coming in to assist you in bringing about this clarity and a shift of awareness. What was once not obvious will now be realized and understood. So be honest with yourself and trust what you know to be true. All of this is bringing forth lessons in your life. You have a choice to make. You have, uh, you have a choice if you want to be this motivational speaker and help others and teach others what you have learned from your past. You're, you will be step, stepping into your personal power. For some of you, you need more balance in your life before you can reach this point. So let's see what is your guidance from your animal spirit guides. Ancestors, you have a ton of ancestors coming in, coming down to help you with this whole process. Appreciation and healing. They're sending you healing. They are sending you, they're cheering you on with every step that you're making in this whole process. 34. Three and four, seven. You've been through the challenges and you're going to make the effort to reach this point. Partnerships and contracts are coming up. New connections. You're going to communicate the knowledge that you have learned from your past. Again, your ancestors will assist you with this. Next card, duality, yin and yang. You're going to receive the balance that is needed. You're going to make that change with 23 breaks down to a five. You're gonna make that change. Next card up, orange, number 24 connection and attunement you're going through a lot of healing you're receiving a lot of healing and a lot of downloads through your crown chakra for this and orange is your creativity you're going to come into more joyous emotions you're going to be spreading happiness and joy to others you're going to help others with being more positive and bringing joy into their lives. You're going to teach others how to do this. You're going to teach others how to turn their negative past into a positive future. This orange is also associated with your sacral chakra. So you're going through a major transformation here, pile number three. Next card. You have the animal spirit guide of the walrus coming in to let you know to remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Okay? So remain calm about your current situation. You're going through a lot of back and forth. You're going through a lot of doubt, a lot of purging yourself from your past or old habits, old ways of doing things. Pay attention to the signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. You have choices here. I said that in the beginning. Next part up. 
the bobcat spirit number eight life is a mystery number eight is abundance you're going to come into a lot of abundance you're going to be a mentor a teacher a guide for others here pile number three and you can make a lot of abundance this way uh, life has a lot of twists and turns. You may be trying to figure out where you're going next, maybe um, trying to um, get a lot of answers from psychics, even mediums, uh, even through this reading. But life is a mystery. It's going to have twists and turns, and Spirit isn't going to reveal everything to you, pile number three. All right. So let's get some tea leaf. <laughs> so let's get some tea leaf messages from your spirit guide and um, you have two spirit guides so there are going to be a lot of messages we're going to pull for you here so let's get started let's get a tea leaf message for pile number three from their tree frogs spirit guide Goldfish, goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Here we are. You're going to increase with your spiritual growth here. So let's put that right here. Okay, let's get another message from your tree frog animal spirit guide. Get another message here. Got two. First one is broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. This is what you keep thinking is going to happen. You think this is going to be an unsuccessful outcome. You think you're just spinning your wheels. This is the back and forth negative thinking that you've been having. But you're going to go through that shadow work here, pile number three. You're going through the shadow work. You're going to get through that. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I forgot to read this one, so let's put these at the side. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. You're going through a mental journey. And it's taking a toll physically. Yes, it's taking a toll on you physically. Okay. Career. You're going to make a career out of it. I, I was just saying, you're going to make a career out of being a motivational speaker. And it says here, you're going to be very wealthy. So this is all pertaining to you. Let's go. Next, another animal totem, the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So let go of your old ways. You don't have to be shrewd in order to um, be successful here. You're letting go of these old ways. Okay, so let go of the old ways of being shrewd and thinking that's the best way to be resourceful when it comes to business. This spiritual business cannot consist of anything from the past here okay so let's leave that in the past let's get another message from your tree frog we've had a lot of messages from the tree frog already but let's get one more let's get one more okay Pin, new job career, boom, there you go. Here, it came out again. Pin, new job, new career. This is great news here, pile number three. It, it, it's, in the, it's in the cards for you. Certainly is your calling here. Okay. So now let's get 
Let me be careful here because I already knocked down a candle from pile number two. Let's get from your Timber Wolf Spirit, Animal Spirit Guide. Let's get some fortune messages. Some fortune message for pile number three. Fortune message for pile number three. Fortune message for pile number three. Let's get a fortune message for pile number three. Uh, I'll take that. Fly. A period of ill health, depression. Yes, while you're going through your shadow work and letting go of addictions or any past old bad habits, you will experience a period of ill health and depression. So it's going to take some time here. Get another message. Oh, that's too many. Let's get another message from your animal spirit guide. Another message from your animal spirit guide. Another message from your animal spirit guide. Okay. Vase. Secret admirer. You have a secret admirer coming in. Or people will be admiring you once you take up this uh, mentorship, this public speaking. A lot of people will be admiring you, speaking your truth here. So this is, this is a big deal here for you, Paul number three. A huge deal. Okay? You're going to be really stepping into your power here. Really stepping into your power. Okay? Oh, we got another one here. Tent, temporary situation. This shadow work is temporary. This period of ill health and depression is temporary, okay? This way of your old, letting go of your old ways, know that you will get through. It's a temporary situation, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Don't think negative. It's a temporary situation, okay? So let's get away from the defeating thoughts and step into your life purpose here okay okay let's get one more one more let's get one more for pile number three one more for pile number three one more message for pile number three one more message for pile number three. 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 Oh. Flute. Disappointment in a friend or lover. Okay, so while you're going through this transformation, Friends may not no longer see you as the same. Even a lover, you may no longer have the interest that you had in the past the same anymore. So be aware that a lot of people are not going to take this whole transformation well. Okay? And that's what I have for pile number three. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.